What's up, you guys? Uh, you now tune back in with Sweet Black Vlogs. I'm Des. This is Vanessa. Subscribe before this video starts. Today, we're going to be talking about interracial relationships. Dating, married, talking, plan on being together, all that. So, uh, let's go. Let's fight. Number one question that people ask is, uh, is your mom, <laughs> what did your mom think about her being Hispanic? My answer to that is, uh, nothing. Like, the answer was, she, she a normal girl just like if she was black, as if she was white, any other color. I can get a little black <laughs> during the summer. Like, but she do turn black in the summertime, yeah, like I she think. said. Like, his color is black. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's that's the number one question. Uh, what is what does your mom think about her being Mexican? Um, what do your people ask you? I think it's not just my family, but just outsiders that also have asked me like, "Oh my gosh, like, what did your mom say?" Or like, <laughs> "Oh my god, what did your parents say?" And I'm like, nothing. <laughs> no, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. No, I was like nothing. Like. Seriously, my mom was very open-minded about it. Not that it's anything wrong with it, but I feel like coming from a Mexican family, it's very like you have to either they're Catholic, because <laughs> my family's like Mexican, Mexican. Like they're not like Mexican-born Americans. No, it's yeah. like Mexican, Mexican. And um, it was very like, oh, like you have to marry a Catholic guy and he has to be mexican and we all have to like communicate with his family and for me it was not like that my mom was very open-minded um they all met him before we actually started dating and he came over for tacos as friends <laughs> as friends he came over for tacos that's how mexican we are we invited him over for tacos um everybody loved him my mom was like obsessed with his smile She's like, he's so cute. So. <laughs> <laughs> keep going, keep going. Um, and it, they just loved him. He's, uh, like, they were never like, oh, you know, you, you can't date him because he's like a dog or whatever. And my mom's always been like, you know, there's white people who are dogs. There's Mexicans <laughs> who are dogs. Yeah. There's black who are dogs. Like, so. it's, it's not, you know, if you're dating a dog, then that's fine you know it's it, they're not bad people but it's just people always straight up think like oh my god he is black like he's what a bad are person you thinking? yeah he's a bad person he yeah. steals he's gonna leave you he's gonna get you pregnant and Maybe. leave <laughs> all these you? hey he's huh. gonna he's gonna get you pregnant and go to jail all this stuff that's a stereotype, a stereotype. on black men um and he's gonna beat you up you know, yeah. all this stuff that we stereotyped on. Go ahead. It, it was funny because that stereotyping didn't even come from my family. It came from outsiders that didn't even know me. Like, I remember one time my brother's friend, she, um, he was like, oh, you know, she's dating one of your people. Because she was black too. And he, she was like, are you serious? Like, she was like this girl who went to a me and everything. She's like, I would see you with a white guy. I was like, like what, why would you see me with a, like, do I have whites only or Mexicans only or blacks only written all over me, mm -hmm. you know? Like, I don't have that, so, no, like, I hate it when people would say that. And one day I went to CBS, remember I told you about this? And the Mexican girl, um, I had gotten some pictures of me and him printed out, and she was like, going through the pictures and she's like the girl's like what did your mom and dad think of this i was like of <laughs> what like it was our marriage pictures too you know and she's like do you have kids i'm like no like do we really have to have kids for us to get married <laughs> like you know it's things like that like pe people are so stuck in like the generation that we're in what were your parents like what did your parents say about it and i'm like about what she's like 
about you dating a black guy? I was like, nothing. She's like, my parents, the first thing that they told me was, you better not date a black guy. So I'm like, what is this lady thinking? Like, this is so weird for me to even talk about. So I'm like, um, no, it's like my parents never did. She's like, yeah. So my parents were like, oh, don't date a black guy because you got a better your race. That's wrong. She, she was like, actually, I always like black guys, but I just wouldn't date one because of my parents. But it shouldn't be about your parents. Like, if the guy loves you and he's a good person, then the race shouldn't matter. And that's what my parents have always told me. Like, when, when they would ask my mom, like, what do you think about her dating a black guy? She'd be like, what the? Yeah. <laughs> like... <laughs> Like, what does his color got to do with anything? You know, he's just a regular person. He is actually better than any Hispanic person she's probably dated. Like, she has always looked at how good he treated me and how he's always pushed me to be closer to God. Like, on Sunday, he would come pick me up and we would go to church. Yeah. You know, like, that's the things that people should really look at not just oh he's black or oh he's gonna leave her or oh my god he's gonna end up in jail like it's nothing like that okay. i love being with him he's just a regular person and he's treated me better than any other race that i probably dated okay well i'm gonna give the guy's point of view <laughs> Um, <laughs> so I'm a black young man. I get asked why you date a Hispanic girl is it's a motive behind it. Do, how did y'all meet all that? Blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, she's from Mexico, but, uh, we dated, we started dating in school and, uh, I didn't care what color she was. Honestly, um, my, all my exes before her was black. Um, other than her. I dated one more Hispanic girl, and I think it, it was in middle school. So does that even count? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it like, does count because I remember her name. Well, whatever. But uh, <laughs> does it even count? You know what I'm saying? But uh, I dated one other Hispanic girl other than her. I dated a couple of white girls actually too, but that was in middle school. Does that even count? You know, that's way back when you getting to know people, you know, when you back young, you know, getting it in. But uh no, nah, other than the two white girls and the other Hispanic girl, all my girls have been black and ain't I I don't care about race, honestly. Like black's cool, Mexican's cool, white's cool. All her exes before me was Hispanic. I'm the first black guy. She never dated a black guy. She never dated a white guy. Have you dated a white guy? I don't know. No. All right, <laughs> I had to make sure on that. Like, have you dated a white guy? Um, a lot of people ask, um, why do you date white? Why do you date Hispanic girls? Or and they just like questioning me on the race, and I'm like, it's not. It ain't. It ain't a color on it. You know what I'm saying? And my mom uh asked me. She didn't ask me why did I date her. She just was like, um, after I broke up with my ex, she was like, uh. Who is this new girl? And I was like, Vanessa, we we friends, but I really like her and all that. And um, I'm fading off the subject, but I was no, like, <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, uh, I like her. She cool. I was like, she's a virgin. And my mom was like, leave her alone. <laughs> you don't do that girl like that. <laughs> and I was like, I ain't going to do her like that, mom. <laughs> I was lying. <laughs> but I did. <laughs> I did get her, you know. V card, and oh uh, yeah, man, we I fell in love. Yeah, we, if you're watching this, <laughs> <laughs> we fell in love. You know what I'm saying? But it doesn't matter. I don't care what race it is. I dated pretty much every race, but um, me and her clicked. You know, yeah, I caught him worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> me and her, me and her clicked pretty good. Um, but questions we always get asked is, uh, what do your parents think? And the answer to that is nothing. Um, Pete, do we get crazy looks from other people not really i think when we go to restaurants like the uh mexican restaurants oh yeah the mexican people do be staring at us i don't know if they staring at her if they staring at me 
They like, what the hell is this dude Cuban? <laughs> is this dude Arabian? Uh, is he just a black Mexican? They be wondering, they be wanting to ask too. And then some of them have the nerve to ask in Spanish, like, I don't understand. Um, is he your boyfriend or <laughs> they, be, they be wondering they be nosy and I, I just sit there like I don't understand nothing but um yeah man yeah it's... and then when they go away I'm like something. <laughs> yeah even already knew yeah but um yeah it's it's crazy but we don't really get bad looks um actually one time we went to a bazaar and uh, my mom told this guy asked Oh yeah, it was a black bazaar. It wasn't even a Mexican bazaar. It was a black people's bazaar. An African guy. He yeah. asked my mom, "Was I?" She, he asked my mom, "Was she my sister?" And I was like, "Yeah, that's my sister." And he was like, "Nice, nice. You got a beautiful sister. You got a beautiful sister." And I don't know if he's being funny, or if he's being for real. But uh, I was like, "Yeah, that's my I mean, sister." He was doing the summer side. It had me rolling. <laughs> it had me rolling. Um, another thing is food. Like when we were down in Chicago with um, my dad's side of the family, they were also shocked. They were like, "He eats this?" I'm like, "Yeah," <laughs> and they're like, "He eats that?" I'm like, "Yes." Like he probably eats more spicy than I do, which is crazy. Um, like I'll be like, "Oh my god, this salsa is so hot." He'll be like, "What?" What? Just pour yeah. like shell in I it. Love, I'm like, I love the sauce. The I think she got me on, on that because I used to didn't eat, like I used to eat like Louisiana hot sauce, but like the green sauce on tacos, man, I gotta have it. And I'd be putting a lot and they be, the Hispanic people be like, yeah. hey, look, wait, look at, wait, hey, wait. He, he loves Mexican food. Well, I mean, I, I don't think he's another option, but he loves Mexican She food. loves, uh, on the black foods, oh, let's see, the God, foods, yeah. she loves what? Uh, cornbread, greens. cornbread, greens. Baked beans? Ba I love baked beans. She likes chitlins. <laughs> she likes chitlins. Well, it's like very close to tripitas, like for Mexicans. <laughs> she eat like, she's uh, this is her last uh, black people barbecue type stuff. Oh my God, yes, barbecue. His dad's barbecue is so good. Oh my God, I dream of that barbecue. My dad threw a barbecue for me, I think my 22nd? 22nd my birthday. 22nd birthday. All my Hispanic friends came over. A few of my close, close black <laughs> homies came over. One time, um, his friend uh, called us and he was like, hey, like, let's go out for drinks or whatever. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, okay, like, where's this guy taking us? <laughs> so I had never. Who, Jamal? Yes. All right, keep going. <laughs> I had never in my life, never since I was able to get into a club or into a bar, um, legally being to a Mexican club, never in my life. So he's like, hey, Jamal invited us to, uh, to a club. I'm like, oh, like how fun, you know? So I'm like thinking like, he's like, it's, but it might be ghetto because it's in this part of town. I'm like, oh my gosh, like what are we getting ourselves into? We get there <laughs> and I'm like, I'm just seeing a whole bunch of Mexicans walk by. I'm like, this isn't a black people's club. Like, yeah. we are a as soon as we walk full in, blown Mexican club. Cowboy hats, cowboy boots. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> I'm talking about fully <laughs> blown. <laughs> Everybody walking in circles, dancing in circles, like. Dang, 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 dang. Like the kumbaya. I was like, hey, we lit. I wish, yeah. <laughs> oh, same thing. Hey, if I find that video of her, she was lit. I'm going to pull it up in this for y'all, man. It was fun. Um, I was like, I never in my life would have thought I was going to come to a full-blown Mexican club with two black people. Like, <laughs> never in my life. It wasn't my idea. Especially if it wasn't my idea. You know, it wasn't even our idea. It was like his black friend's idea to, for us to go there. And I was like... Oh my god! And then all the things I had heard about this club, I was like, "We're definitely she was gonna in get there scared." <laughs> she Mexican. We the, we was probably we was the only two black dudes in there for sure. Yeah. And I we was the, I was the only black person. He was the only black person. My homie Jamal, and she was like scared, and she Mexican <laughs> with them. I'm like, you gonna be our only way to get out of here if something jump off. <laughs> if if you are Mexican, like white. 
Asian, Asian. Indian, and you're feeling scared as they outside of your race, don't be. It's nothing normal at all. It's just, it's act. I think it's actually fun. Like you get you merging into a new culture, and you just every day it's something new. Like the stories that he'll tell me, and then I'm like, oh, my mom would have whooped my ass, or like the story <laughs> that I told him, and he's like, my mom would have whooped yeah. my ass. Like she could talk to her mom and cuss. <laughs> I, I try that with my mom. I'm gonna get Ooh. slapped, and I'm 24 years old right now. Yep. Keep going. Uh, um, let me give my part. Uh, yeah, if you black, white, Mexican, Asian, Filipino, Indian, Pakistanian, Malaysian, anywhere. Um, yeah, like she said, don't be afraid to date outside your race. Um, if you haven't tried it before, I mean, it's not nothing to look forward to, but it's it's interesting. Like she said, um, you'll eat different varieties of foods, you'll party in different crowds, you'll learn a new culture, listen to different type of music. I mean, I'm, I am still listen to what I want to listen to, but when she throw her, <laughs> when she throw her stuff on, I bob to that too, you know what I'm saying? And we just click like that, you know what I'm saying? And it's nothing to be afraid of, as uh, long as you keep God in it, that's what I will say, keep God in it. And if you're afraid of what other people think, then you ain't going to be successful in nothing in life because you're always going to be worried about what other people think. And if you live in life worried about what other people think, then it's going to be a long ride for you. But uh, So, yeah, just um, just go for it. Just like them. If it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, then keep going with your race. If You just never know. It's just dating. You know, if I think dating, you just get into the person. Or whatever get to know your family definitely get to know your family don't be afraid of what their family has to say about you or what your family has to say about them at all because at the end of the day if this person makes you happy yep that's what matters they're not going to be married to them they're not going to be the one dating them exactly it's going to be y'all another too. thing yeah another thing if if you wondering what your parents are going to think and you scared of your parents response uh, that's another thing. You you can't be grown if you're worried about what your parents are thinking. Uh, if your parents can't support you in the decision you made on being with them, then your parents aren't doing their job as a parent. They're supposed to support any decision you make if you want to be gay, if you want to be straight, you happy. if you want to be trans, if you want to like blacks only, if you want to like whites only, if you want to like midgets, if you want to like fat girls, it doesn't matter. They're supposed to support your decision no matter what, what you decide on, on doing. If you want to be bisexual... That, that's for anything. They're supposed to support you. And if your parents don't support you, you can't re-choose your parents. But do what you want to do, man, because you live in your life, not them. I mean, the only thing they could say is they don't approve of it. But what is that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's life. Uh, uh, another thing is they make a racial comment about you. Overlook that. like. Yeah, the racial... Yeah. racial that's yeah. old, man. Um, yeah. It's 2019. People at my job call me niggas every day. Not not every day, but, but uh, pretty it. often. <laughs> uh, I overlook it, man. It's not going to come in between my money. Um, it it It's not that big of a deal. Oh, I have another story to tell. He came over to my house, and we, we love watermelon. And, like, we didn't know about... <laughs> What like about the myth that people eat watermelon or black whatever? People. Black we people. Black people. Black people eat water black uh, watermelon. So my mom was like, "Hey, do you want some watermelon?" Like just, uh, like this is when we had just started dating, and he was like, "Why? Because I'm black. I want watermelon." <laughs> and he got so offended, and my mom were like, "Oh my god! Like I think you guys have a relationship." <laughs> Since you gotta overlook stuff. If you want to be with that person and that's just going to make you happy and you just got to be happy whether it's with your family support or without it because at the end of the day they're not going to go sleep with them they're not going to share a room with them they're not going to share a home with them it's going to be you and you don't have to be happy and if you're not happy then walk out and just start all over and that's all i have to say because once i start talking i will not shut up
Um, we're getting ready to go to bed. We're going to go put the dogs in I the got bed. a good amount of editing to do. Uh, we about to lay these ugly dogs to bed. They're not ugly. And we about to go shower, get ready. Y'all comment down below if y'all to the end of this, if y'all to this point of the video, that mean y'all watch the whole video. Um, do us a favor, man. Comment down below if y'all like to see daily vlogs. Um, me and her been talking about it, discussing it. Uh, pretty much her getting her point of the view with her day and oh, yeah. me, me getting my point me of the view. Me going out with my day and him going out with his day. Both of our views on two different vlogs. Her, she vlogging on her with her day, me vlogging on my day. I put it together, edit it, and something like that as daily vlogs or every other day vlogs. And I will still post stuff like this and challenges and different stuff like that, baby appointments, everything. But uh, let us know down in the comments if y'all would be interested in uh, daily vlogs and just getting a little more deeper into our, not lives, but a little more into what, what's going on off the camera. You know what I'm saying? Peace, love, sweet black vlogs, turn up, subscribe. We out. Black diamonds, black out black, everything black.